I am the contrarian and this is my world. Hi, I'm Raheel. I'm here to demolish Rajiv's notion that uh, technology is endangering journalism and news. Journalists and journalism is becoming obsolete and technology is making that happen. You know, I have real mixed feelings about this show. I report on technology. Some people do call me a journalist in some ways or the other. And both of them put together may well make me obsolete. So this is an incredible topic for me to get into. And with me is really the one part, the one service, the one app that is called the best newspaper in the world. People say they wake up in the morning and they read Twitter because that's the best newspaper. And with me is the person who actually represents that. So glad to have you here. I've got to say yeah, that yeah. this topic in itself, I started off by saying I have mixed feelings. But let's get started with getting a viewpoint from you. Technology, especially what you do, does that make good journalism obsolete? I'm changing that, tweaking that a little and saying good journalism getting obliterated, bludgeoned to death because of fantastic technology. Where do you stand? No, on the contrary, it actually adds more muscle to good journalism. Okay. Any piece of great content that you see, which is floated on top the last 10 years, take any sample size, you'll see that technology has aided in the production and spread of that piece of content. Uh, be it entertainment, be it sports, be it general news, technology is now strengthening the hand of the journalist, not just from the point of view of giving journalists and newsrooms fantastic tools to report with, but also to crowdsource with. It's also expanded the definition of who a journalist is and what the scope of journalism is. Rather than looking at it from the point of view of whether journalism is threatened by technology, I'd say that no, journalism is actually enhanced and uh, it's strengthened by technology. You're saying Twitter is good for the spread of good journalism, but the world's worst articles can also get an audience because of Twitter. People that should never in the history of writing See, the be point, writing should be on Twitter. The point is that uh, if you were to take this, uh, if we were to say that uh, people who shouldn't be writing are writing because of Twitter, you automatically assume that prior to Twitter, bad pieces of content weren't read. Yeah, but are you, they weren't you read saying, as much. They, I mean, it was were, impossible to get... Somebody it's only to... now that there's a mechanism uh, by way of which the crowd has control over what they want to read, what they want to reward. So good journalism, again, I say, uh, of course, our platform is at the forefront of uh, content circulation and uh, content discovery. But the fact remains that you cannot be fearful of what technology can do to, do to the trade of journalism. You, we can't go back to... You know, we can't go back to writing on box or sending pigeons. Uh, we spoke about applications and software that are coming in, which is really the ethos of what we're doing, where you take certain pieces of information, throw it into that software, and then you choose the kind of writing style, the number of words, whether you want to be taken to be a serious journalist, a witty, funny one, a sarcastic one, so mood of writing, and it spits it all out for you. Now, where in the realm of your imagination is that a great move forward. I mean, that pretty much tells you and me, dude, you're not going to be around in another two or three years. With every phase or with every sort of scope of growth that we see in whatever technology that we're using, your cell phone, for example, is more powerful than a supercomputer of 20 years ago. Right. Uh, you as a consumer, as a producer of news, have more power over what you consume and what you produce and what you curate than you had at any point in time in human history, right? And yet, we are standing on the crossroads of what is an important moment in the history of where content goes, where technology goes, and what technology does to content. The good part is that great content will find amazing audience. Digital storytelling tools enhance the experience. It's an immersive experience. Uh, you can basically, the web has literally taken out the need for you to uh, cut down your stories, sacrifice truth at the altar of word count. But even these tools enhance what journalists do. Who how? should be, can, can who I, should I be, yes, I'm getting to that. I mean, while, who should while be we, fearful? We are, we are going who through a lot be, of words. Can yeah. you just tell me by example, so who how is be, that possible? Absolutely, I'm getting to that. Who should be fearful of the shift is people 
who look at whatever it is that they are doing and whatever tools that they are using with this rose tinted notion of this is really so who it. are they classic journalists long form journalism traditional journalism print journalism who are you seeing are it's, those that are looking at it fearfully and why should they not people who are not who are not with it i'm going to do a quick fire with you this is you personally sure, sure. that has to answer this not doing the twitter line i will try last time you read a long form column which one and by whom that you actually uh, appreciated so i read uh, the wall street journal storytelling around uh, how cancer is reported in the us the very fact that you can remember it means it's one of those rare, rare occasions that you read something long form right yeah i read long form pretty regularly actually so you were able to tell me an interesting long form tell me an online journalist's name that writes columns of about 100 150 words that you have been completely dazzled by i can't point one there, person no, because there aren't very many It's no, impossible no, no. So here's the to thing. think of I a can basically, journalist. No, 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 here's the thing. You are looking at journalism uh, or journalists from a traditional point of view. No, I no, don't not, look at journalism. At all. So at all. I can, if, like, so I follow about 400 odd people on my Twitter. A lot of the people that I follow aren't traditional journalists, but they do fantastic reportage okay. and opinion on whatever is out there. One journalist said that journalism itself is now becoming obsolete as anyone can do it how is that good this question needs to be looked at with a little more granularity okay which you can't is can make absolute statements like mm -hmm. jo journalism is obsolete because anyone can do it why because the minute you take away something from a very very niche area of people that have done this all their life have done it well have become icons in their own lifetime today so there's can... still space for those people to rise up and actually No, in 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 a world where anybody can do anything, then nobody does anything. I not just disagree with it; I vehemently disagree with it. Okay. The point is that power structures get threatened all the time, okay. and do you with, think this is just the insecurity of yeah, traditional journalists? Of so, absolutely. I mean, you've seen, and I keep going back to your example because you've done phenomenally well digitally. I don't see why, like twenty years ago, if you'd have been fearful of this change. that would have been it classic icons traditional journalists people that actually magazines that have gone out newspapers that no longer can make money uh things that have actually been and made journalism the iconic thing the respect that it got this industry are all dying out the point is that the new york times is making money off its digital subscription the caravan indian new uh, news outlet long form news outlet is feeling confident enough at this point in time to go, digital, to go beyond a paywall yeah do you think this would have been possible 5 years ago or but you're ignoring ago? maybe 500 other examples that i can give i mean that for the out? one that actually stands out 499 died thank you for proving my example great How? content rises to the top these aided by been, technology these have been fantastic journalist institutions that have died out because of very poor that journalism they haven't died out because their content was great and no one was reading it they have died out because they failed to rise up to the challenge that technology poses in terms of an overhaul of a skill set there are indian news outlets that have died out because of this very reason they haven't died out because see here's the thing where are the people that you broadcast your content to if you are still broadcasting into a black hole and hoping that someone out there catches your signal obviously you're going to die out you need to take your content where the people are and people are online I'm going to ask you the last one. Hand on your heart, really. Okay, hand on your heart. Okay, you truly believe that a better era of journalists and journalism has started. No, be completely. I mean, forget. I said the last the five years. Yes. Okay, the last ten years. Okay. All right. right. I don't know what's coming next, so I don't know this yeah. th this time phase that you're putting in. But Some of the best journalism that has ever happened has happened in the last ten years. be it long form storytelling be it the battle for transparency you look at what the guardian with the new york times uh, and the spiegel have done with the, the wikileaks cables the world would be a poorer place had it not been for these three traditional news outlets coming together and disrupting what was a traditional information chain things have changed people consume information in a two way fashion now there are multiple streams that 
plug in to what you're consuming and what you're producing. You guys do, do some phenomenal work. Like I'm addicted to the NDTV app. It has, Thank you. it, has a, it gives me a push every time uh, something happens. Seven out of 10 times, it forces me to watch your channel. No, but I think the good thing is that you get extra brownie points for putting NDTV app right at the end. So it has to be, that was perfectly and very well. Hashtag awesome. yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Great, uh, you know, parts of what you've said are very interesting. Also, some of the fears that I had of the fact that both technology, crowdsourcing and that damn service where you can feed in information and get journalists, columns and articles out, part of them have been put to rest. It's interesting, but I think we will revisit this in maybe about a year because I truly believe that there are disruptive technologies coming into the world of journalism that may have both you and me singing a different tune. But then time will tell. Thank you very much. Fantastic having Lovely you here, here on the show. So at this present moment, I think I'm going to close the show by saying this, that this itself is a 30-minute show. When The Contrarian becomes a 30-second show, that day, journalism and journalists will become obsolete. We'll see you next week on The Contrarian.